Good evening, I'm Lily Rivkin and you're watching YTV. Um, tonight I'm sitting here with our opinion editors Larry Milstein and Aaron Sabarium who are here going to tell us more about the YDN's most read page. Great, thank, thank you for you. having us. Ah, no problem guys, thanks for coming <laughs> in. Um, so what is the opinion section and how is your role different from the other editors of the paper? Great, yeah. So um, unlike other pages at the paper, which are really prided on the fact that they're objective and reported with any bias, the great thing about opinion is that we invite students to share their candid thoughts. We lead a staff of nine staff columnists, as well as a collection of guest columnists who we you know, solicit their viewpoints, edit with them, split around 50-50. But the idea is that each day we are putting out a page that is representative of student opinions on national, campus, and global issues. Um, let's say a student has an opinion that he or she feels strongly about. What would be the steps that students should take to get a Colin or an op-ed published in the YDN? All you have to do if you have an opinion that you feel strongly about, you can substantively justify, and you would want to reach a broad population yeah. of people, is to shoot us an email. We're at opinion at yaledailynews.com, um, not to do a shameless plug, but it's really as simple as, you know, writing three to four sentences, explaining your ideas, and mm -hmm. if it's something that we think is promising, we'll move forward and let you know that it's important for you to, you know, come up with a draft, we'll schedule a time for you to edit, and you know, then you'll, it'll end up in the yeah. paper. We're, yeah, we're pretty yeah. inclusive. And I think that there's this sort of misconception that it's very difficult to get opinion columns published. That's really not true. It's generally pretty straightforward. I mean, we, we can't say yes to everything, but generally we say yes to more things than we turn down. Wow, I had no idea how easy it was to get an article submitted. Um, con in continuation, um, Yale's campus climate has been rather tense this past month. Have you seen an influx in submissions because yes. of it? Yes, we yes. certainly have. Right. Well, how did you decide which pieces made it into the paper? Yeah, so our first priority was to maximize the diversity of viewpoints and backgrounds reflected on the page. Um, so, really, we just first and foremost said, okay, this person is you know supportive of the protest. This person has some qualms with it. Um, and really try to have it distributed as evenly across kind of the spectrum of reactions as we could find. And what role do you see the opinion page playing in a larger movement? Yeah, I mean, I think that the great thing about the opinion page, especially as a counterbalance to the news section, is that we offer students the, like, the opportunity to share 800 words of their unfiltered views. So even students who may be hesitant about talking to reporters, you know, speaking to news outlets, because they don't know how their words or opinions will be, you know, expressed, they know with the opinion page that they can get exactly how they're saying it and how they want to say it, which I think is yeah. really encouraging um, for many students. Yeah, and I think it should also be emphasized that our role is not to select columns that we agree with or disagree with. It's really, it's first to provide balance, but it's also to bolster the arguments that we receive. So, you know, when you come in to edit a column with us, we're not trying to tear your argument down and just completely destroy it. We want the argument to be really good. So we'll work with you to, you know, anticipate objections and to hopefully make your piece as strong as it can possibly be. And I think that that really did mean that the recent events on campus were able, people were able to see those and to analyze them and really hear both sides of the issue and hear both good sides of the issue. Okay. And one of the criticisms that the Opinion Desk often gets is the publishing of controversial material. How do you determine what makes it into the paper? And what are your standards regarding inflammatory content? Sure. So we are pretty values neutral with our decision process. That is to say that we are not going to censor something because it might offend people or might be very inflammatory. That said, we generally will not publish something if it seems as if it's only there to be inflammatory. Yeah, and so, just to add on to that, like we won't publish like ad hominem attacks. Yeah. We're not here to publish things that are, you know, openly calling to violence, things that, you know, fall under basic considerations of free speech. You know, at the end yeah. of the day, we are a campus newspaper, mm -hmm. and so being sensitive to that is definitely one of our key priorities. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, the Opinion page is published daily as well as the news. Uh, this has been Lily Rivkin for YTV. Stores on Broadway have been criticized for being out of reach for the typical Yaley and for driving a wedge between Yale and the rest of New Haven. I think that uh, the stores that we have and, and the retail options that we have should be tailored to the demographics of the community.